All right, so we are busy planning the superhero project that will be coming up very shortly. I'm very excited about it. We are talking about connecting it to a charity, which I am also uh, thrilled about because, hey, that's what superheroes do. They help those in need. Now, we're not fighting crime, but it's going to go to a good cause. So that's really a really awesome thing to have the studio connected with. So I think it's fun that the studio is going to be doing a project like this. This is exactly the kind of thing that we really built the studio for so that we could create cute, awesome little things that ultimately have an impact somewhere. And so this is going to be one of those cases where I'm helping out a really good friend and a charity at the same time. So I've got this delicious pizza right here. And we're going to move on and talk about what else is going on. Um, the studio is now bogged down with permitting problems left and right. Um, I'm now a libertarian. I now believe completely that the government just gets in the way of everything. I don't know how else to put it. But man, uh, now our survey that we had spent a lot of money to get, which is to pay a professional surveyor to come in here, isn't good enough. They need to have listed on there things put in by a civil engineer, which include like the hookups for water and so forth. And that was never explained to us that we would need that. And they've been sitting on our documents for months without ever telling us that these were the things that we needed. So after submitting these documents to multiple places, uh, including um, the register of deeds outside of the town, so with the state, basically with the county, uh, we now have to do another survey, most likely, in order to get the permits that we need in order to uh, build the building. So, man, uh, it's just bureaucratic nightmare after bureaucratic nightmare. Um, they hold these things to such stringent statuses that it makes it incredibly difficult for anyone to get anything done. And I would imagine that this stifles business. I would imagine that anyone else who is thinking of doing what we're doing would have uh, reservations about, you know, committing so much time and energy into it. The worst of this is, is of course that uh, we, we bought the building for very little money and now I'm probably realizing that the people that did it were probably more experienced with us than, than, than we were with doing this kind of project and realized this is gonna be a nightmare, Somerville's terrible, and we're gonna go do our business elsewhere. So at that chamber meeting a few days ago, is isn't something that I brought up, but they talked about putting all these restrictions on buildings and specifically inclusive housing. So people wanna come here because we're the hippest town in America uh, we're, that's actually true. Somerville is almost always listed, and they, they say, you know, hippest towns in, in the United States. We're like on the top 10. Uh, <clears throat> I, I say it's because of all of our breweries and vintage stores. Uh, but people want to build here, and they have all these old warehouses, empty lots, places that are getting redeveloped, areas that could uh, really stand to benefit from major growth. And now they want to do 20% inclusive housing, which is what the, the zone is uh, it's currently being zoned for now. And that means 20% of the housing has to go to low income. And even artists, they even create art spaces for artists, like artist studios. However, um, this is causing a lot of developers to simply say, we'll go to Everett, we'll go to Malden, we'll go to the towns next to Somerville and not put in buildings here. So that coupled with all these other restrictions, I just think, who wants to build here? Why would anyone do this? Um, the only thing I can say is that once we're finished, it's going to be a nice property and the value of land in this area is not going down. So I'm not afraid of us being, uh, spending the money to, to get it out later on in the future. But my gosh, we are spending money hand over fist for what seems to be pointless bureaucratic reasons. Uh, and it's just like one thing after another, after another, after another, we got our ducks in a row. There's more ducks we have to get in a row. And it's just making huge headaches. And on top of that, the person who's supposed to be approving this is on vacation until like the 20th. So it's like we don't even get an answer or really have someone that we can ping for answers until then. Uh, and that's the permitting hell that we're in. And it's hurting business in Somerville. Uh, I'm sorry to say. So now this pizza sitting here. It's cooled off a bit. I'm going to eat that. And I have to go to work at 8. If you remember... This was all about the job and, and why why it's so difficult on someone like me. And uh, whew, going to work at 8 o'clock at night is not a easy thing. I'm probably going to be working until midnight, 1 in the morning. And then tomorrow I've got to get some more stuff done. But uh, hopefully we'll have a fun weekend. All right. That's it for now. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe.
And if you can, head over to our Patreon page and support the studio because we're going to be doing some cool work, including some charity work.